They're gaffers. There's another one. Every one of them. Recently had a really good day catching gaffer dolphin out of Oregon Inlet in North Carolina. That's the Outer Banks for anyone who's not super familiar with it. Oregon Inlet is a very well-known offshore fishing destination. The inlet is pretty dangerous, and so it keeps a lot of people from fishing recreationally there. Most of the fishing pressure that happens there is just charter boats. There's a lot of blue water yachts that uh, run charters out of the inlet, a couple different marinas that do that. I am lucky enough to know some people who fish recreationally quite often out of Oregon Inlet, and I get to join on a, a pretty frequent basis, and I feel super fortunate to do that. I'm going to try to do a lot more of that this summer, hopefully bring more content like this, because it is some content that most of the world does not get to see. Most people don't get to experience this stuff, and I'm taking full advantage of it while I can, while I'm still young, and I don't have too many responsibilities keeping me from it. Hope you enjoy. They're gaffers. There's another one. Every one of them. Did my best to cut the clickers off when I could, but things happen very quickly out there and you're really not that worried about it. It's a lot more annoying when you watch the video than when it's actually happening in real life. I think we got four, four now. Or you have one on that rod? Yeah, I can crank on it. Here. Okay, right here. I'll get it. He's eating the freaking sea witch. Get You're going to hear us yelling a lot at each other. We have fished together a good bit, so this we're not actually being rude. Um, also, you can't really tell. It's amazing the GoPro picks up the audio as well as it can because the engine is really loud. So that's part of the reason we're screaming at each other. We're also just excited. Bait! Somebody get a bait! Get a bait or more Pitch something right here. Here, here, here. Hold up. Hey, 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 hey. I got a rod down underneath. Here, Hunter, take this rod. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, put, it, put it right here. Drop it right here. You got it. Drop it right here. Hold on. Hey, he got it. He got it. He got it. Ah, pull it. There you go. All right, man. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. Got moved up. Hey, Maggie, come here. Oh, hey, what the what? Oh, that's the one we still got on back there. We need to cut up some bananas. I just ran down underneath to try to grab some rods to pitch some cut bait out with, but ended up that this school, we tried to circle back on them and find them again, but we didn't. They were out in the middle of nowhere. They weren't on a grass line or anything like that, and they vanished. Yeah. We got any more back there right now? Yeah. Yep. We landed six off that first little flurry. I don't remember if this was number five or number six that we put in the boat, but that is that one that Hunter pitched the ballyhoo to right next to the boat and got it to bite. <laughs> that was a, a whammo of gaffers. That was beautiful. We 
we found a weed line and we were following that looking for more mahi and we trolled by a spot where we saw a couple fish sitting up underneath the mat and they did not come out and hit our trolling stuff so we spun back around and decided to put some cut bait on them you didn't pause any of these things in let me get this cleaner up I had some that I put in the cooler earlier. Good. Yeah, little triggers. Oh wow, look at all the little fish coming out. There's one, there's a baler right there. He got it. Oh, yep. oh wow, look at the nice one with him. Yeah, Someone's gonna get the other one. There's a nice one down there. Just keep feeding, keep feeding. There he goes, there he goes. He's gonna eat it. He's way right back in the boat. No, he's back there, way back there. I'm way down, look. Go watch out, there's one there. Right to the right here. Oh yeah, way to the down. Same one, probably. Yeah, it's the same fish. Feed, keep feeding. He's gonna come get it. I don't wanna take this one out of the water. I guess I will. I cut some up for it. Is there more? Get my hands on him. Come on, fish. There we go. Wow, he's not even hooked in the mouth. I don't know how I got him. Got him? No, He's got the gaffer. That's a good fish. Yep. Nice fish, dude. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, look, there's more. Oh, there there's a bunch go. of them right here. A bunch of them. Oh, yeah. About three or four, anyway. All right, well, I need, we, need, we need a spinner rod. We can, hey, get my popper rod and put a hook on it. I got a little baby. Oh, my gosh. This is the tiniest mahi there ever. That's the one that we got. I think I'm going to release this one. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, Nope. He just spit something in my mouth. That was so gross. I'm sure there will be comments on these baler rods. These are the sentimental baler rods. They've been on the boat for quite a while. They've caught a lot of small dolphin and some big dolphin. And they seem to hold their own. Normally, when you get into fish doing this, they're not the large ones like this. But this time of year, they tend to run a little larger, so we opted to mix in some larger, heavier tackle setups with these uh, other baler rods that you'll see in the video. Perfect shot. Good stuff. Pretty beautiful. Uh, here, somebody come fish with this rod. I'm, I'm going to start rigging something else up. It's just got a chunk of bait on it. I'll get them fired up. A lot of times when you're fishing these weed lines, you'll find mahi that have been fished for by other fishermen and they start to act finicky. An artificial that moves really fast will often get those fish to fire back up. Oh, it's the little jacks are biting maybe? All right, here we go. Yep, hey, there's one right at the end. Oh, right there's right several. There. Hold on, I got it. Oh, yep, they're coming now. Yeah, there you go. Oh, perfect cap. Oh. Oh, gone. Already, there, you go. there we go. Keep hit. <sighs> I got a bunch more of these jigs. If somebody else has a spinning rod, they can rig it up on. Actually, yeah, rig up that other spinning rod with one of these. Oh, man. Treble hooks are pretty terrifying when they are attached to a mahi. I heard he had one. Oh, he came off. Oh, no, I got a jack that time. I got a little jack. Oh, my gosh. Got him. 
That's a little tiny one. That's a little than the last one you let go. He's beautiful. Oh, he's gone. Quick stop on this little pad of grass. There were not that many fish here and they were being really finicky. They were all really small besides that one nice gaffer we got. So we picked everything up and kept moving. That's a nice fish. Upset. See if I can. Might try to get that. Oh, you got the D hooker. As soon as we get that fish in the boat, already putting lines back out, getting the boat in gear, and that is very important. Right. Here you go. Oh, yeah. This right here is kind of a heartbreaker. I tried to hit record when these fish came in the spread and things started getting crazy, but evidently the GoPro either didn't turn on or I didn't hit the button hard enough. You'll catch up about 10 seconds into the fight with this mahi that I've just hooked. I got a hey, I good got one. one right at the back I got a freaking nice one. <laughs> Look at this one. Good stuff. Uh, Hunter, you know that one you had earlier? Put that one out when you get a chance. We got one close. Not that close. All right, here we go. Maggie's probably gonna beat me because I got a spinning rod. Just, just feed it. Just feed it. You'll get one. They're coming in. Yes. Yep. You good? You about to? You got eight. You're good. You're on. So I've caught lots of. 40 plus pound, 50 plus pound cobia on this rod. I've caught yellowfin tuna on poppers on this rod and these big mahi were giving it quite a workout. You, you'll hear I kind of get razzed about using a little spinning rod in this video, but it's not a little spinning rod. These are just really strong fish. And when a mahi turns sideways in the current, there's nothing you can do. He's got such a deep body that he's just gonna hold himself there. I'm about to need a gaff. Uh, now. Bump it, Dad. Bump it. Turn right just a hair. That's the opposite, but yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Not gone, gone, but. Turn right. Oh, no. Wow, that was skillful, Caleb. Yeah. Hey, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Here. You're on. Somebody, somebody take this rod. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, don't let me do it. The gap's too damn big. Good, come on. I mean, I'll, I'll put more drag on him, I guess, but every time. He... This is a pretty big one. Yeah, you, we need more rods out here. Need... Caleb's saying that because every rod we have has caught a fish, but it now has a hook in a mahi that's sitting in the cooler flopping around, and there's big fish swimming around everywhere around the boat, and we can't do anything about it. In the water, if anyone wants to drop one back. <laughs> we gotta get the hook back. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> I had them right there. Yeah. Oh, just hey, need another three feet. Is there a hook in it uh, with big bait on it? Oh, we need to get hooked out of there. They're like planer boards, you know? Yes. I love the way it's like something the floor. Look at his buddy right here. I know. One right here is I just can't lift him at all. I'm doing all I can. Just... 
So that's 50 pound braid on that spinning reel to 60 pound fluorocarbon leader and a pretty stout setup, but that's just a strong fish. I told you he's a good one. Hey, hold on. Hold on. I need a chunk of bait. Holy cow, all the bait's gone. Oh, I'm sorry, Maggie. That's a big one, dude. <laughs> I don't know where you're going. Yeah, I just caught you. You're good. I'm just, I can't yep, hardly do anything. How about this rod? What's going on? You tie one on? Oh, I'm under you. I'm under you. Yeah, it needs to oh, be. Oh, we're good. We're tangled. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're back. I'm in your, I'm in your uh, swivel. <laughs> yeah, this Things were getting pretty chaotic, and you see Hunter here has now hooked one of these nice fish on one of the sentimental antique rods, and it was quite a battle. He ended up coming out on top in this, but not without me having my line out there, and the fish swam through it, and it was just a mess. I got him in my pocket. Sorry. Here, take a hook. I got a hook right here. Here, tie, tie this on here. No, I'm oh. so far from free. Yeah, it's, it's free. Yeah, and watch... I mean, your swivel is why I can't do anything. <laughs> OG equipment right there. It might it might be pen. It might not. It might have not been called. Oh yeah, it's a pen. It's a pen. It's a pen. <laughs> hey, well, here I can start rigging if somebody wants to manage this rod. I'll do that if you literally just open it and let it go and then reel it when it's. I got it. Just. You know. Oh wow, that's just out there. Yep, we're right here coming up. <laughs> wow. Good stuff. Hey, watch, over there. watch that hook because it is like outside his. Yeah, oh no, it's, no, it's good. That's actually, yeah. wow, that's hey, yeah, okay, actually worked really well. Yep. Yep. This is stuck to that. Yes. Here, just cut it above it. Here, I got scissors yep. right here. Yeah, we'll just cut it right there. And I would like my leader, but I think, let me see. Mine's super beat up on his back. Yeah, that's the one I caught. I think. No, that's the I one I caught. This is the one I caught. Yeah, they've all like been gaffed in their dorsal fins somehow. Like, <laughs> fishing line that cuts through the dorsal. Oh. Well, this was like old, but that. he must have already been caught and lost. Man, we gotta get a picture of those things. Exactly. Yeah. Maggie's is bigger than the one I caught. That's a stud. Yeah, that's a big fish. We need to get some. We need to go here. Caught some grass by it. We were dealing with a lot of scattered grass this day. There were weed lines, but they weren't super tightly packed. So anytime you would be near one, you would have a lot of scattered grass. And we were just having to work pretty hard constantly to keep those baits clear of grass. But that was where the fish were. So we just ran a small spread, kept it close to the boat, and did our best to keep the lines clear. Fish on! That's a nice one. That is a good fish. I didn't get where I was going. Okay, it's the heel anyway. Good gas. Right under my bait. Yeah, right under right. right my bait. All right, I'm going to start fishing. Yeah. I'm just gonna let it float. Did he eat it? Uh, yep, yep, yeah, yep. he did. No one's got Somebody one. back my drag way off. You're over me. Hey, 
fish getting. How's that feel, no? Feels all right. Here, uh, we still need to probably get this line out of the cliff. I'm, yeah. I'm rubbing on it, and and y'all get ready in case he's got buddies, cause we drove away from him pretty fast. So that first nice dolphin that I caught on this setup, I was putting heat to it, but kind of reluctant to really go crazy on him, just cause I didn't want to lose the fish. But at this point, we'd caught several nice fish and i had caught a few nice ones on this rod so i was starting to kind of test the limits and see what i could do you'll notice i put a lot more heat on this fish and you, you've seen the yellow fins this rod has caught so Okay. Quick rundown of what we were doing once we got into these fish. You see we have a short rigger out on this side and a flat line. Both those have ballyhoo with sea witches. Two strips of false albacore on these spinning rods to pitch at fish. And then also another short rigger and flat line on the far side. This fish is going. Uh, Maggie. Oh, mine pulled off. Yep. I'm over you, Maggie. Yeah, I think. Yeah, all right. Oh, 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 you got one too. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to start damage control. <laughs> we good? Oh no, we're not good. That won't come off of there. What's going on with this one? What's going on with this one? Over and under and over again? Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Break he's, one. he's too deep. He jumped jumped off the gas. Pull real, Maggie. Hey, Hunter, Under or over? Under. I'm under? Oh, you're under. I need to hit this rod down. Yeah, hit that rod down. Hey, put your rod down, Maggie, in the Eddie, slow the boat down a little bit. Yeah, a little bit slow. All right, just trying to get these lines tight. Oh, oh they're tight. <laughs> that <laughs> rod has a lot of butt to it. You got a good rod. You, like, you want that or a spinner? I don't care. You got a, you got a better one. Yeah, she should reel it on that. Maggie, you don't want to catch it on, on my rod or on the other rod. Weigh in on this if you know anything about it. These spinning rods, they're cobia bucktail rods, so they're pretty stout and... It was really hard to land these mahi on them in comparison to the 50 wides we were using, but we had a lot more drag on the spinning rods than we did on the 50 wides, and I was trying to figure out how it was so much harder to control the fish on the spinning rods, and I think it's probably because 
the 80 pound top shot and 90 pound leader on the 50 wides creates so much drag in the water that the fish cannot turn as easily. And I think on the braid, since that line cuts through the water so easily that they're able to turn a lot more easy. That's my best guess because it was a lot harder to pull drag off the spinning reels than it was off those 50s. And it was a lot easier to bring the fish in on the 50s. I'm not sure. I can't figure it out. All right, coming up close. Caleb's is pretty nice. I got one on the left. All right, uh, Hunter, you go in front of Maggie. Yep. And then oh, come behind me. Yeah, Caleb's got the stud. Keep going left, going left. Left, left, left. I don't want to drop the gaff. Good shot. In the box, in the box. In the box. All the way to the box. Hold on, let me get... Just, yep, we're good. you can break it off if you want and put a new hook on. That probably needs a new leader anyway. It's getting pretty short. Oh, he's bleeding really bad. He's about dead. I say that. What is he doing? He wouldn't keep his head in the water. Well, how'd he get back out? He jumped out. He jumped out the box. Yeah, I'll just man. start rigging baits. We can probably just hook strips on it too if we want. But delete it. I think it'd be fine. It's all good, Caleb. Just take your time. We'll get him. We need to get a water hose. Yeah, we do. Uh-huh. They're just strong fish. <laughs> So I think what happened here is there's a really big difference between gaffing fish uh, when the boat is in gear and when the boat is out of gear. When the boat's in gear and the boat's moving forward, there's a lot more resistance when you go to put the gaff in the fish so you don't have to pull very hard. And it's good not to pull very hard when you're gaffing a fish. But when the boat's out of gear, you got to hit them a little harder. And it's just kind of hard to distinguish that, especially when you're excited. I do it. I've done it a bunch. And I think that's probably what happened. He just maybe didn't quite hit the fish hard enough. Also, mahi. They flop all over the place, so as soon as he hit the fish, the fish did start to turn the opposite way of the gaff. There you go, you got him. Yeah, get a picture. Go get, go jump behind him. Right here, look at me. They are. There you go, Caleb's on. I pulled off. It's your rock. Uh, it's no, it's not mine. That's Caleb's. I'm going back to him, Eddie. He got it. Got him on. Oh no, no, he's gone. Yeah, he's a smart one. He got it again. Let's take all our damn bait. Let's get away from this fish. He got it again. Oh, there he is! Oh, no, I got grass that time. Hold on, he's probably still there. All right, I got him. Oh, I was going to say, he's still back there. You got him, Eddie? Yeah, there man. you go. You want to fight one? I'm good. I'm That's why I didn't get him. Oh. It folded back over. So after all that work and after all the baits that fish took from us, he pulled off right beside the boat. Can't do much about that. It happens sometimes. Honestly, it amazes me that we land as many mahi as we do with all the jumping and head shaking that they do.
Let me at them. Hey, there they go over there. I don't know if I'm gonna reach him. Oh, look at him up there. You see him? See him? There's a bunch. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Where are they at? Where are they at? I can't see them. Oh, right here, right here. Where'd it go? They're under the boat. Oh, right the boat. I missed them. Down the boat, right there. Here they come. Here they come. It should be piled up on you. There's more. Got him on! Yeah! <laughs> There's a bunch. All right, I got to try to get down there now. Changed his mind. That's it for this one. We ended up with 26 mahi, most of them being pretty nice. Should have a lot more offshore content coming this summer. I'm excited about it. Hope you enjoy.